Hey there, good morning. Thanks for joining us on this Monday, 649 right now. I want to take you on a little webcam tour across the uh, higher terrain here in Colorado. It's a beautiful start to the day at Copper Mountain. You can see the snow capped peaks. They've seen a little bit of fresh snow over the past couple of days. Uh, but the little bit of cloud cover that we have out there, just beautiful and illuminating uh, with that sunrise coming up. Wolf Creek Pass also looking gorgeous with some of those clouds uh, out there just being illuminated by that sunrise. And the snow still uh, hovering right across the San Juans. Same story here in Monarch Pass with man just a beautiful sunrise and if you got out anywhere across eastern Colorado uh, we just had a gorgeous sunrise on this Monday a nice start to the work week here in Cheyenne Wells a little bit of cloud cover out there the only thing that's doing is making for a beautiful start to the day it's really not impacting our temperatures much 39 in Pueblo 49 in Colorado Springs and 60 in Denver this morning so a mild start to the day for most areas and that's going to lead for a mild afternoon for a lot of areas as well high pressures in control Here's some of that cloud cover flowing from north to south here, just creating uh, a little bit of a blanket over us. But most of uh, the day should be relatively sunny with just a few spurts of clouds out there. A big ridge of high pressure is sitting over us. That's keeping us warm and dry throughout the day today. We're not going to change that up too much tomorrow, but you can see some colder blues and purples starting to make their way down. We have a pretty big cold air mass that's going to be sinking in. And the difference between the warm air today and the cold air on Wednesday is going to create very windy conditions for the day on Tuesday and high fire danger as well. Cold air is going to be in place for the day Wednesday. It's going to be one of the coldest days of the week and we could be talking about some of our coldest temperatures of the season so far Wednesday night into Thursday morning talking about that in just a second. Uh, but the future cast showing clear skies today. No rain or snow by tomorrow morning. Still no rain or snow, but there's that cold front beginning to move in by the afternoon bringing a little bit of high elevation snow to uh, the central and northern mountains. Overall, it's going to be relatively a dry front that moves through. We do have just the slightest chance for a little bit of rain and snow showers for early Wednesday morning possible from Denver all the way down to Colorado Springs. We're giving it about a 10% chance of happening, but overall not looking at much in the way of widespread or substantial snow accumulation at all. Future snowfall uh, really only showing the snow adding up in the central and northern mountains about one to maybe four inches. So again, not a huge storm here, but this is what we have to look at uh, in the forecast as it is one of our only systems that's going to be impacting us this entire week going from the low to mid 60s in Woodland Park to 39 for a high on Wednesday Thursday morning waking up to the upper teens and then we'll gradually warm up throughout the rest of the week to around average and not looking at big substantial storms uh, really other than this Wednesday little system that's going to be rolling through Pueblo mid to upper 70s today and tomorrow 45 is all we're getting to on Wednesday the slightest chance of a flurry or a raindrop same story in Canyon City mid to upper uh, low to mid 70s expected with only the 40s expected on Wednesday. So uh, once we get to the end of the week, we're going to be getting back to around normal and Colorado Springs Monday, Tuesday, upper 60s to low 70s. 42 is all we're going to get to on Wednesday Then a very cold start to the day on Thursday. So not looking too bad traffic outside this morning. Natalie, how are we looking? Not too bad, Andy. Good morning, Colorado. 652 on the clock. Wrapping